right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and do. he's faced in the octagon self-inflicted oh my goodness a post celebration after the misha serkinov i mean his celebrations are crazy he threw his shoulder out yeah doing the worm he's told me the other day in brazil he has to find a new way to celebrate i said you think john i think he does but johnny walker's on the fast track and he's got a big one in front of him here tonight herb dean is your referee Ready. he's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight Good. all right so here we go from timo marina in las vegas nevada and wherever you are most fighters on this roster to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. Absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. The International Fight League, the championship fight all across the board. You come to T-Mobile. Good punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Walker. Doubling up on the jab. Yeah. Oh. Nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Big right hook there by the champ. And now the hook in the clinch by Walker. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes now to go. We got the turtle in that kick. Oh, nice inside kick. Jab there, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Thirty total strikes have already connected for Johnny Walker. Oh, nice big overhand, right? He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Take down. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, goes to the switch kick and lands. That was masterfully done. It's such a fast action to draw the reaction from your opponent at that when you find the target. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. striking on point tonight and as evidence some swelling now on his opponent yeah light swelling right now but if he doesn't address it immediately it'll turn to something much worse oh! all right he engages in a single collar tie here oh blood dripping now from the lip well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he's let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that thing. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Heard him again. Final seconds of the round. <laughs> That's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? You All right, here we go with round two. There by the champ. Well, Johnny Walker looking fluid and powerful here early. Here's hoping DC that if he does win tonight, he doesn't injure himself celebrating. We all remember when he dislocated his shoulder shortly after a win. Not all that long ago. Perhaps a learning lesson for the great Johnny. before his opponent could react. He's worth. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big inside kick. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is digging his shin into hit the thigh. What a tremendous performance by this guy. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Very fast jab, Lance. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Put 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well-placed kick there by Walker. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kick. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. He got that leg up quick. Beautiful head kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Two minutes now to go. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Single column tie now. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. That one appeared to stun him. He's hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Flying knee gets the target. Beautiful flying knee to the head. That shot blocked by Walker. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. In this race. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. 20 seconds to go round two. Walker's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Very fast, like he lands for. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round, and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab 
to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. His work, guys. Leg kick. There it is again. Look at that. It got checked. Walker's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Walker gets hit with a kick. He's got the single combo tie. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is falling from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of time that is used to manage space. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Walker. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now. Oh, he's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, and there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he looks. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed, and it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that... Oh! It's hurt back. With authority, the body. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. 
I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks whatsoever, despite the obvious visible damage we now see. And, and you can see it early, John. Very early you saw it, that he was almost dismissive of that attack. But I believe that now we're getting to a point where if he doesn't address it, he's going to get finished with leg kicks. Just out of range with that strike. Walker's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Oh, he got him again. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Oh, big diving bunch to the head. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to pass out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times, it was nice. At times, it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. <laughs> here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Walker's cut on his nose is just poured off. Here to the beginning of the end. Oh! Back to his feet. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Beans called a stop in this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba.